A fundamental concept investors need to understand is the wisdom of the crowd. It was developed by an English statistician called Sir Francis Galton and based on a competition he observed at a livestock fair in 1906. So the attendees were asked to get guess the weight of an ox and there were 787 guesses. And what Galton discovered was that the average guess was only nine pounds off the actual weight of 1,198 pounds. Furthermore, he observed that more than 90% of the individual guesses were worse than the average. And the principle here is that when there's an uncertain value and people have access to the same information, the error of their guesses kind of above and below the value tend to cancel out. And, and the average guess is going to be better than the majority of individual the guesses. The stock market is an excellent example of the wisdom of the crowd in action. Every day, millions of traders around the world place millions of trades, each time expressing an opinion as to how much a particular stock is worth. So the market is like a giant supercomputer and therefore very hard to beat. This is why it's just so hard for investors to benefit from securities analysis. One, once insider information and market manipulation were outlawed in the 1930s with the Securities Exchange Act of 1934 in the United States, essentially the playing field for information became fair. Uh, market manipulation and insider trading were no longer allowed. And then the wisdom of crowds prevented outperformance by almost everybody. And it's been that way ever so since. The wisdom of the crowd means that markets are broadly efficient. What then is the best way to invest? The most important lesson is that almost all investors are just better off investing in index fund and getting broad market exposure rather than actively managed funds because actively managed funds are trying to essentially violate the wisdom of the crowds and they're charging a lot to do it. So, you know, despite claims by advisors, by consultants, this is the, the best approach. Spending money, spending your time, which is often more valuable than money, on constantly hiring and firing active managers, constantly tweaking asset allocation based on, you know, what's happening in the moment. It's just not adding value and it's a waste of Occasionally, time. markets do get things wrong. And that's why we have bubbles, for example. The problem is bubbles are extremely hard to identify while they're actually occurring. So although they aren't always perfect, current market prices are the most accurate guide investors have as to how much assets are worth. Mm -hmm.